Hey guys, this is Hadrian from AffiliateHustle.com. I'm back from a vacation and I decided to make this tutorial on Anchor Text because there's a lots of people just on the forum posting stuff about Anchor Text. I saw Franklin post about it and not a lot of people understand that this is like a huge part of um, their off-page SEO and just keeping things natural on a site and like the more and more that you keep dropping keywords and your money keywords, the more and more you're fucking yourself in the end. So, um, so for people that are noobs to this and just don't understand what anchor text is, um, anchor text is essentially um, the text that represents a hyperlink. So when you drop, say, your link right here, and you represent it with your keyword, um, that's that's a that's a keyword. That's your anchor. That's your anchor text that represents the the actual URL. So there's different types of anchors. Um, we have branded, and I'm a. I'm just gonna get this out there. I'm a huge fan of branding, so let's just be it clear here. I love to brand a website. It makes things so easy when you start dropping links. Um, so we have branded. So in our case, for affiliate hustle, it'd be affiliate hustle, or if you want to use ah for to represent like the affiliate hustle. Um, we have naked URL, so that's just the URL itself, so affiliatehustle.com, or say this was an inner page, affiliatehustle.com backslash forum. Um, generic keywords, those are anything that are just um, just basic things like click here, read more, learn more, read here for more info, or click here for more info. Keywords, um, these are any keyword on your website, so for affiliate hustle, it'd be affiliate forum, internet marketing forum, say you're your thing was um, like a dog website you could do um, say your keyword was dog collars or leashes for dogs something that someone would search so your keywords and lastly I put social links um, that's just um, like anything social based like just stuff you need to be doing I, I put that there because again you need to start branding websites it just makes things so easy and a lot of time you're going to be dropping um, naked URLs on social media websites. Um, so why is this necessary? So back about just a long time ago, long time ago, I say long time ago, and it was just like 20, like 10 to or 2011, 2012. It says here the actual dates, but just a long time ago, we'll put it that way. You could just drop your money keyword and spam the fuck out of your backlink profile and you would rank. That's essentially all it took. You could do anything you wanted. So then Google caught on. They got sick of that shit and said, if you're going to keep doing that, you, we're going to just slap your website in the ass and we're going to make sure that you either aren't indexed on our our um, search engine or you're just not going to rank on our search engine because you're using link building strategies that are frowned upon and you're using spammy content. Now, people adapted and... Um, stuff you shouldn't be doing are money keyword 100%. So that's just using dog collars or dog leashes 100% of the time on your anchor profile. And that's something they can see. So what it needs to look like, I went to um, um, Ahrefs and put in bestbuy.com. And as you can see, this is something natural. They have bestbuy.com or Best Buy, their brand, like 43% of the time. They have bestbuy.com, the naked URL, 8% of the time. Again, they have another branded. No text, I'm not sure what that would be, but again, that's natural. Um, link, click here. Um, again, these, and then maybe some keywords. I don't, I don't, I doubt those are keywords. They're, they have a natural link profile because they're authority based website, but that looks natural. You know, generic keywords, generic, generic, um, URL, naked URL, um, keyword, keyword, maybe. I don't know. Um, now, right, don't sweat the small shit because even though I'm saying all this stuff and you're going to start overthinking it, guaranteed, everybody always does, um, just have a general idea of what money keywords are for and to keep them low. Like, I put, this isn't math class, you want to keep your money keywords below 5 to 10% because you're not going to be using dog collars and dog leashes 100% of the time. It doesn't look natural. But you're going to be doing... Um, branding about 50% of the time you're gonna be dropping your your name brand affiliate hustle or naked URL affiliate hustle.com 50% of the time um, and I also wrote here at the top um, 
Money keywords are for contextual based links. You sh the only time I like to use contextual links for my money keywords is for my strong fucking links. My links that are going to push the ranks. Not something like a blog comment, which is just a waste of fucking effort. You're killing yourself there. So here we, we have that Tumblr strategy um, again. Franklin posted, I, I saw him reply to someone, and they posted about anchor strategies, and he basically told them straight up, you shouldn't be dropping your keyword every single time. You should be using what I said. You should brand yourself. You should throw, show a naked URL. You should put a keyword. It's pretty simple. And then those keywords, you shouldn't even be dropping it the same way. So if you're going to say it was dog collars, um, best dog collars, you know, some adjective that you throw on there. Um it shouldn't be the same exact thing every time is my point um, again so you want to save those for things like private blog network posts and tumblr links like that we talked about um, your stronger tumblr links too not just like your your cheap ass ones that aren't that great you need to mix it up um, so that's the end of the slide again this is just something I wanted to get out there because I'm just sick of reading about it and it's something that everybody should be doing and it's like overlooked a lot um, I just want to add in too that now that I'm back, um, I started adding or I started building a Tumblr network just for you guys. It's got about 10 sites right now. I'm gonna put it up to 100, and I'm gonna sell it on um, Source Market. So I'm gonna probably post a gig on the forum as well as a um, service for private blog networks. That's also not gonna be cheap. My typical rate is um, five posts for $50, but I'm gonna up it to 10 um, 10 posts at a minimum just to keep it worthwhile for me and you. And also, 10 posts is about generally what it takes to move a, a keyword decently. So, um, yeah. Also, I, I, before I leave, I wanted to again say that Franklin is also has a service right now. Um, for PBNs, he has two links for, I believe, $16, which is a pretty great deal. You should check that out as well. So, again, this is my anchor tech strategy and what I'm currently doing in 2015. Thanks for checking it out, and I'll see you again. Message me on affiliatehustle.com. My username is Hatred. Bye.